know how sad it is that a lot of men don't appreciate their wives until they're dead? Like it takes us dying for them to be like, oh, wow, she was doing a lot. And you know what made me think of this? I came across this think piece yesterday and I don't know anything about this show itself, but this, <laughs> I'm being sick of watching men fail up. <laughs> And it's really this one paragraph. It's this trope we see on TV and in movies all the time. My perfect wife's dead and I can't get my heart together. It's this line right here. Full House. Danny Tanner from Full House needed two proxies to replace his dead wife. <laughs> I, I never thought of that. But it, you know, do you know another movie for this movie? Any Gen Xers? Three men and a baby. I, I remember watching this and being like, oh, look, that baby's got three dads. Isn't she lucky? Mine doesn't <laughs> care about me enough to raise me. But the bigger message here is that it took three grown men with good jobs. I don't really remember this movie or anything about it, but it took three, three men to deal with one child. Not, not even a child, a baby, a baby. I would love to see three men and a toddler. Actually, they probably made a sequel. They probably, they always ruin everything with like 10 movies. It's, it's like, it's this thing where we don't appreciate women until they're dead. Or, you know, more common is a lot of men don't appreciate women until, you know, their wives leave them. But sometimes it literally takes us dying. So actually one of my clients, I'm a writing coach, and he got this wonderful essay published uh, in the Huffington Post. But the, the tragedy of this story was that he did not become a dad until his wife died. Like the death of a mother birthed a father. It's almost as if men won't do stuff unless they have no choice, no choice whatsoever. And usually they still don't do it. They go find a new wife, let her do it. Or, you know, let, let their sister or even the next door neighbor come in, swoop in and, you know, it's women. It's other women that are expected to save men. When the one woman that they relied on for everything disappeared. Like, to me, it's just so crazy that men think of themselves as like heroes. Y'all, they're never heroes. Every hero in my life has been a woman. Every single one, every single time. And usually they're saving me from men. <laughs> Provider, protector, my butt.